Hi, welcome back to FIE TV. I'm your host, Bado Safi. Today we will discuss, analyze, and uh, discover about the role of Islamic finance in economic development. Almost half of Malaysia did not have savings. Are you one of them? It was reported that 30% or 40% of Malaysia did not have enough money to cover their unplanned expenses. Federal of Malaysian Consumer Association, FOMCA, in their research study say that most of Malaysia are not financially ready to cover their short-term expenses in event of losing their job. Due to increase in price of household items, some of them even have less than 1,000 ringgit in their checking and saving account. So the question is, how do Islamic finance helping people to mobilize their savings? The role of Islamic finance in economic development is to enhance the mobilization of savings. Saving mobilization is to capture the voluntary saving deposit, protect them, manage them and also to be used to fund loan portfolios. So, in order for a country to attain higher growth rate, they need to attain a good rate of saving. Because saving has a positive impact on the monetary policy and also on the overall financial stability of the economy. Islamic banks plays an important intermediary role in pooling savings, especially from a small investor and channeling them into a productive investment. Most business highly depend on the bank loan for the source of capital. So, the ability of a bank to give out loan depends on the ability of attracting the deposit. So here come Islamic Finance with a policy that offer deposit account with no interest and replace it with the profit sharing. In Malaysia, the establishment of Tabung Haji has rapidly increased the mobilization of saving among Malaysians. Before the existence of Tabung Haji, most Muslim and rural community save in a traditional way which is inefficient and also risky. But when Tabung Haji came, they provide a more efficient method of saving over a long period of time. In addition, Tabung Haji also invested this accumulated fund in a various business investment and also actively participate in economic activities to manage and also to increase their income. So in short, actually Islamic finance has a role in economic development in terms of enhancing the mobilization of saving in the society. In short, Islamic finance enhances the mobilization of saving among the society in the economic development. Thanks, Sakina Mazlan, on your explanation. Now, you know how the Islamic finance help people to mobilize their savings. So, save your money today will save your financial future. Do you like to make an investment? How much do you know about the capital market? Are you sure your investment is following the Sharia compliance? So, do you know about the assistance of Islamic capital market? So, let's hear the explanation from Aida about Islamic capital market. Islamic finance plays its role in economic development in terms of supporting growth of capital market. A good development of capital market can create several economic development such as economic growth, larger opportunities of employment and stability of economy of a country. Islamic equities, Islamic funds, Sukuk and IRIS are the example of capital market instruments. As for Malaysia, in terms of Islamic mutual funds, we have total of 196 Islamic funds bearing total net asset value 12 million US dollar in 2011. This value contribute the overall growth of capital market in Malaysia. Next, Sukuk. 
in Malaysia, in June 2012, the amount sukuk that issued by Malaysia has been more than 234.1 billion US dollar. Sukuk industry Malaysia itself has uh, is in the global industry market share value 71.6% in 2011. Lastly, IRIT. IRIT stands for Islamic Real Estate Investment Trust. Malaysia had three IRIT over 16 RIT of the world, representing 14.2% of the real industry market capitalization. Islamic Finance offers a solution for poverty, which is microfinance. Let's hear explanation from Yasmin Aris about microfinance. Islamic finance also play a role in reducing poverty through Islamic microfinance. So basically, what is Islamic microfinance? Islamic microfinance is a broad range of financial services such as loan, payment services, money transfer to the poor and low income household. Islamic microfinance also um, offer many many of products and two of them is micro saving and micro credit loans. Alright, how micro credit loans can reduce in these property cases? By using micro credit loans, the poor can buy raw materials or invest in high yielding varieties. Therefore, this will cause an increase in the production that lead to increase in the business income. Hence, this activity automatically can reduce in the property cases. Next, capital accumulation through micro saving also adequate for growth and development. Micro saving consists of a small account deposit offered to the poor and low income household. To conclude, these poverty cases can be reduced through Islamic microfinance products such as micro credit loans and micro saving. In conclusion, the role of Islamic finance in economic development are to enhance the immobilization of saving, to support the capital market and also to reduce the poverty. Let's hope the action will be taken to strengthen the Islamic finance and I hope you enjoy our FIE TV today.